In this chapter, let us learn about many-to-many -many mapping. Imagine I have two tables, event and delegate. The event table has event ID and event name and delegate table has delegate ID and delegate name. I want to create a many-to-many -many mapping between these two tables. An event can be attended by multiple delegates and a delegate can attend multiple events. Now the only way to create a many-to-many -many mapping between, between these two tables is to create a third table like for example join delegate event. In the third table I will have like two columns and here I will note down that event ID 32768 will be attended by delegate 1, 2 and 3 and event ID 32769 is attended by 2 and 3 and 70 by delegate 4. So this way we can create a many to many mapping between these two tables. But using hibernate how do we go around defining this join table? Now let us create a package called com.hibernate.many to many mapping and in that package let us create two class files one is called delegate and another is called event. Now in the particular event class let us have three data, event ID, event name and a list of delegates that is this event will be attended by a list of delegates. And then you can go and generate the getters and setters like we used to do always. Once we have the class ready, let us go annotate it with the annotations that we already know. That is to make a table out of this class, let us annotate it with entity then to denote this event ID as the primary key let us annotate it with at ID and then to auto generate the values let us annotate it with generated value. The same thing goes for delegate.java also. We will have three datas delegate ID, delegate name and every delegate can attend a list of events and then let us generate the getters and setters for the delegate class and we will go and annotate this delegate class with at entity to generate a table out of this particular class and then an ID and generated value to denote this delegate ID as the primary key and to auto generate the delegate uh, primary key. Now to create a many to many mapping between this event and delegate class all we have to do is go to the getter method of the list of delegates in the event class and then annotate it with at many to many. Now this will create a many to many relationship with the delegate class. Now the same thing let us go to the delegate.java and go to the getter method of this events list and then annotate it with a many to many annotation from javax.persistence. After creating the many to many annotation, we now have to define the third table that is the join table. So for that, you create an annotation called join table from javax.persistence and then for this third table we can give a name, any name. In our case the name of the third table will be join delegate event. This is going to be the name of my third table. Now. After creating this join table called join delegate event, I need to have columns in this join table. I need to define what are the columns that are going to be in this third table. The columns in this third table are from the event class I want the event ID and from the delegate class I want the delegate ID. But since I am programming in the event class, what I will have to do is, I have to define event ID as the join column and delegate ID which is in the other class as the inverse join column. We will take a very good uh, quick look at it. So now let us go to this event class and in this event class you have to say comma and here the join columns are curly braces the at join column name equal to event id. 
name equal to event id close the curly braces and the inverse join column equal to curly braces at join column and here the name will be equal to the inverse is delegate id that will be my inverse join column now why do we need let me close this off now why do we need something called as join columns and inverse join columns we are using this join columns and then once again we have to say at join column equal to event id the reason is this sometimes when we are creating a many to many relationship in this case i am only taking one column from event table and one column from delegate table so in this case my join columns are join column event id and inverse join columns are join column delegate id but in some other cases i may take like two or three columns from here and two or three columns from this other table so in those case we'll have to create an array of columns but in our case we just have one join column that's why we say join columns are join column name is event id and then the inverse join columns that is from the other table it is join column delegate id now let's save this Now, to do the same thing in delegate.java, all you have to do is copy this particular join table, control C, go to delegate.java, and in the getter method of this get events, just paste this because the third table is going to be the same join delegate event. But since we are programming in delegate.java, the join columns here will be delegate ID. And the inverse of it is the event ID. The inverse join columns equal to join column event ID. Now that we have created a many to many mapping, let us go test it out. I have like a test class and in that I have this annotation configuration. Don't forget to add the delegate and event classes and then call the schema export to create it and then create a session factory and various sessions. Now after that I'm going to create a few objects of delegates that is I have delegates like Alex Rod, Linda Berry, John Doe that is delegate 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then I have like three events Java 101, C plus 101 and Math 101. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to get the delegates for Java 101 which returns a list and to that particular list I'm going to add this particular delegate. So delegate 1, 2 and 3 are attending Java 101 2 and 3 are attending C plus 101 and delegate 4 is attending math 101 and then I go ahead and save all these objects that delegate 1, 2, 3 and 4 and all the 3 events and I am going to commit the transaction. Now let us run this, right click run as Java application and you can go check the database, it has this join delegate event and it has this delegate table and it has the event table you can go check the values also so this completes a many-to-many -many relationship